I was thinking maybe we'd tell some funny holiday stories. You know, I'm sorry, but I don't like the holidays. She's I'm one of those. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those people that would love to do away with Christmas. I think it sets up a lot of expectations. It makes a lot of people unhappy. We know that everybody has to deal with the family, and that's always traumatic. But holiday sex is pretty good. Well, if you can find some time. My funny holiday sex story is once I was visiting my parents with my boyfriend. And you know how Christmas, you, you open gifts, and then you're having like hors d'oeuvres. And we decide we're going to steal away, and we're going to have sex. So we go upstairs to my old bedroom, which just so happens to be right above where the Christmas tree is. Oh, you planned it all. No, I told you, my mom, because they get this huge six-foot tree, she takes a, a metal cord and ties the Christmas tree to the ceiling just in case it falls over. We're having sex upstairs thinking we're all sly and shit. And with every thrust, the whole Christmas tree is shaking. Well, the Christmas trees, I mean, they're good. <laughs> the Christmas now, tree is getting This is a fucked. story <laughs> of a young woman who comes from an upper middle class family, beautiful tree and all that, but for the working class, it's quite a different story. Uh, so what is a white trash well, Christmas tree? Well, fuck Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big expense. I, I only remember one Christmas that I really liked our Christmas tree, and it was my father trimmed it all in blue. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Blue lights, blue balls, lots of silver tinsel. <laughs> Did you say blue, blue balls? balls. Lots of silver tinsel. It was beautiful. And that was when we lived in Minneapolis. And I would say that's probably the best, that was the best, our best family. So time. now you have to tell your Christmas story. <laughs> oh, no, the one I remember on Christmas is that when I was in, living in Wichita working as a fashion officer. Very she she. Oh, did I put it on? Well, you were supporting your family. I was helping. I was putting most of my salary into, yeah, the family. So you know how you cross your legs? And then you'd cross them again at the ankles. I was, and you're at the company Christmas party looking all fly. Oh, honey. And we're drinking these eggnogs. And they don't even <laughs> taste like alcohol. It tastes like a milkshake. And all of a sudden, I am swacked. And I go to get up to go to the bathroom. And I feel myself going forward. And I can't unfold my legs. Oh, face plant. <laughs> oh, I was mortified. Wouldn't you rather have an orgasm than another sweater? Really? I'd rather have an orgasm than a diamond necklace. I know that sounds crazy, but you know what I mean? Well, I'd take the diamond necklace and then sell it and buy a whole lot of sex toys. <laughs> and take Free. a week take a week's vacation and just play with all of them. No, I I'm not it's it sets up false exp expectations. It's it's not a good thing for kids at all. And to think that this fat man in a red suit is gonna <laughs> go around in his sleigh. I mean, I really don't approve of all of these Myths. Yeah, being, the Santa myth. Being laid on kids. Romantic I really, love myth. I, yeah, the romantic love myth. I really mm -hmm. thought when I was a little kid, there was a Santa Claus. I thought that was the case. I'm trying not to giggle. I'm sorry. And then the rug was pulled right out from under you. Some little girl that lived across the alley told me there wasn't any Santa Claus. Oh, she's mean. And I said it. there had to be because we were too poor to get all those presents. Oh, is that not the cutest thing you ever heard? Yes, and instead of giving a present, give an orgasm. And if you're past that stage, give someone a massage. Touch another person's body. Yes, so many of us don't get touched all day long. I always try to do that. I touch hands, I touch, touch arms, touch, touch, touch someone. Touch. Reach out and touch someone. Not with the phone, not with your Blackberry, not with your iPhone, not with your, your Facebook crap. <laughs> touch someone with your hands. I'm going to touch you. Yeah. <laughs>